WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network. 10 a.m. market update. Dow's down 52 at 32,761. We're well into August. We're already the 4th of August. So we're looking at the Dow over the last four days, making this little cluster formation objective always in the Chapman Way methodology is to, a buy signal should go to a buy mode, which says that it should the price you're following should go to at least a peak D and then other things can happen. It could continue higher or it could just stall or it could pull back sharply. Here we are stalling at a peak D, little doji candle four days ago. We're looking at the S&P, which finally did that leg D. Uh, yesterday, and that was very exciting. It means that the 4187 200-period exponential moving average can hit, be hit over the next few days for the first time in ages. But I do believe we're on the left side resistance. I'll talk about that in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour, as well as my webinar, which is coming up a week from Wednesday. If I just drag this over, you'll see front page, Basil Chapman Live, all-day webinar, Chapman Way Methodology, Wednesday, August the 10th, 9 to 2. And it's also Fed Day, so we'll be preparing for whatever the Fed does at 2 o'clock. What we're looking at here is the QQQ, NDX 100, broke the left side high of 314.46. It's in leg E right now, getting closer to the 327, 200-period exponential moving average. It's at 323, up 90 cents. This is where I'm expecting a lot of resistance is going to come in the different indices. IWM has got the left side high. It hasn't got there yet. It's at 190.04. In leg D, we're looking at gold, which is having a very nice move. It's up 22 at 17.99. The technicals are suggesting that there's a buy signal that very well could get uh, updated by the end of the day to a buy mode in the daily chart. That's the first time I've done that for a very long time. We're looking at the dollar just digesting huge gains in a big, uh, well, from the high of the 19th of July, 109.29. Let's pull back to the 105s. It's trading at 106.29. I think it's consolidating and it could go on for a little while longer. The TLT, this is going to be very interesting. The TLT is trying to hold well after that peak E at the left side resistance. is at 119.31, just down four ticks. And crude oil, this is going to be a surprise. Crude oil is making the dreaded H pattern, the arch formation. It's at 89. Um, it's actually at 90.06. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Hope you can stay. It should be a very exciting uh, session. And check out my opening call daily newsletter. I had some really nice positions. I'll be back in a moment, hopefully.